your boy Chief from Buna Eagle Eye coming to you again with a brand new video. This time it's to discuss the player ratings versus Brighton away yesterday. Um, first things first, I think let me address something that I seem to be in a theme of a lot of the comments that I received on my last video when I reviewed the game. Um, I think there seems to be this thing at the moment where when you criticise something you're being overly negative. Just because I'm I'm critical because I'm not happy that my team did not win yesterday. You know, this wasn't a Liverpool or a Man United or, you know, a City. They should have beat this team. Um, and yeah, all right, we didn't lose, but we damn sure did get a point. Um, and it puts a lot of pressure on our next game because of it. Um, we're starting to lose touch with the top four. Um, and that should be our target. Um and it's a shame, really, because, you know, things started off very well. And, yeah, it does sound really doom and gloom. But I think seeing yesterday's performance made me realise, oh, oh, this squad is not good enough to crack top four. And you guys will know, particularly the guys who are a bit longer subscribers and have watched the shows, will know that I've always felt that we could this season. Um, but yesterday made me realise, oh, maybe we can't. Because we're, we're susceptible to just the most simple pull. Yesterday, it was just a simple long ball over the top that was beating our entire defence. It was like, what the heck is going on here? This stuff that I thought we'd grown out of and had worked out of the team. And that's why I was annoyed yesterday. That's why I'm still annoyed now. And that will reflect in my marks out of 10. So I want you to keep that in mind because my marks out of 10 always cause problems. All right. Leno, um, I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10. Don't think he did a lot wrong. Don't think he could have been at fault for the goal, really. I thought he was solid other than that. His defence let him down yesterday, so I'll give him a 7 out of 10. Uh, right back, let's go with Lichsteiner. Uh Yeah, he went good. I must admit, initially I was pissed off at the time I saw the goal, but on reflection... And perhaps watching it back on Match of the Day, he had to try to get the ball. Like I would have actually criticised him worse if he actually missed the ball. It's just unfortunate that the ball landed on top of his head and into the path of the French guy. Um, but I didn't think he had a great game following that. Like I thought he had a pretty solid 20 minutes. And then it just went downhill after that. I must admit, I don't want to see my man near the team when um, Liverpool play, because I think Salah and Sane will have a field day with them. Um, nevertheless, um, I thought he was poor, but weirdly, I didn't think he was the poorest on the pitch. Um, yeah, I'll give him a 4 out of 10. Next to him, let's go with, Lich, uh, let's go with uh, Socrates. Yeah, I thought he was pretty good, probably the best out of the defenders. Um yeah, he was all right. He was okay. Definitely the back out of the defenders and reflection. And I'll give him a 6 out of 10. Kashani, oh, it went great. Didn't finish the game. He's done, man. I'll, I'll be honest. I, I think he's completely done. He looks like a shot player. Um, and it's a shame for him, you know. He's only 33. You know, speaking as a fellow 33-year-old, you'd like to think you'd have at least a couple more years in the tank, but there is nothing there, man. There is nothing there. Uh, he's a sh shell of his former self, and even at his best, he had faults. So, so um, I'll give him a five, and that's being kind, I think. Five out of ten. Uh, Left-back, Kalasanac. After having a pro good, solid two games... Yeah, to me, he was back to his old self. I think completely ineffective on the left-hand side for me. Um, yeah, it was pretty poor. Uh, pretty poor. Um, yeah, I'll give him a 5 out of 10. Uh, central midfield was Gwanduzi. Um, I know, like, I get a Jacker for this. I have to get him. His short passing game ain't great. I'll be real. It ain't great. It should be better than it is. Um, 
And I noticed that the team seemed to target him a lot in terms of the Brighton team. Whenever they were, like, they pressed him real quickly and they were making sure that they closed down all angles so that when he did give the ball away, they were able to capitalise. It was very noticeable yesterday. He does need to step up. As much as I bang on about him being young, when he is in the team, he needs to really step up his game. Um, I don't see enough good games from him. But it will come, I just think, almost in a similar fashion to Awobi. I think with him, he's young and he's being overexposed a little bit. And I'd like to see... Um, I'd like to see uh, Unai just hold him back and make him earn his spot. Um, but for me, I, I didn't think he was great yesterday. And I'm going to sound like Ty here, but I'm going to go with 5 out of 10. Um, Torreira, I thought he was okay. Um, to me, I don't know what's going on with Torreira at the moment because I don't think he's had a good couple of games uh, recently, I think. Um, yesterday was a little bit better than um, Southampton, but I don't think it was much. It looks like he's playing on a little bit, almost playing with a handbrake on a little bit. Um, but I thought he was okay yesterday without being spectacular. I'll give him a 6 out of 10. Um, Granit Xhaka. I saw a lot of criticism for Xhaka yesterday. I didn't really think Xhaka did a lot wrong yesterday. And you know me, I'll be the first to jump on Jacko if I felt like he was doing um, something wrong yesterday. But I thought he was okay. I, I honestly did. I thought he did a fine job. Um, I'll give him a 6 out of 10. Uh, Meza Ozil. Um, funnily enough, I think he had a bright, a bright 10 minutes, opening 10. And then just started to get back into the game towards the end of the first half. And then was hauled off. And you know me, I believe me, I don't jump on the Ozil fanboy wagon. Not even close. But I think when you're looking for a goal, surely give him a little bit of time in the first half before hauling him off and deciding that he's playing crap. Um, I'm, I'm all for prey. Because we've had so long, so long where we've seen teams play really crap and then the manager doesn't do anything about it until the 70th minute so I don't want to criticise for Emery always making a half time sub but he doesn't always need to make a half time sub you know sometimes just let, let let it play out and see what happens give him a bit of a butler kid and then send him out and see what happens um, Meza Ozil's performance was par 5 out of 10 um, Lacazette, I think, was very unlucky to be to get taken off. I really did. I didn't think he did a lot wrong, to be real. Um, yeah, I, I'm not sure what my man has to do. To be fair, to just to just stay on the pitch. To me, and this is where my issue is with Emre and Lacazette. Why does he leave Aubameyang? Aubameyang on is it a Lacazette Aubameyang and I'm sure someone will bring some stats out I'm fairly certain it's a lot more potent when Lacazette's on the pitch than when Lacazette's off the pitch whereas Lacazette doesn't need Aubameyang to be potent have you noticed that? that's what I don't understand about his logic surely if you're if, you're, if you've decided that alright I don't want to play two strikers up front why is it Lacazette's the one coming off? Because if you notice, whenever he hauls Lacazette off, you never see a Bamiyan score after that. You never see that happen. So to me, surely Lacazette the one you keep on and you haul a Bamiyan off. I thought Lacazette was alright yesterday. I mean, just for the fucking turn alone where he sent like three guys to the shops. Um, I'll give him a 7 out of 10. Brilliant assist. Um, Aubameyang was Aubameyang, man. To me, I, bearing in mind, I know he scored a goal for us. So I have to take that into consideration. But this is a £60 million striker and he's missed every game. There's always one chance where I'm like, bruh, 
How the heck did you miss that? And he missed three of those yesterday. Six out of ten, I'm sorry. Six out of ten. Um, Awobi, even I have to admit, Awobi was ghost. It wasn't even like he was trying to make a mistake. He just looked like he weren't really fussed yesterday, which is a bit of a worry. Um, maybe he's just petrified of making a mistake at these days. For me, on it, honestly, four out of ten, if I'm being real. Uh, who else came on? Ramsey, I actually thought Ramsey made a difference when he came on. He looked like he was cr creating problems when he came on. Um, showed a nice couple of decent touches and was actually a threat. Um, honestly, I'd give him a 6 out of 10. I thought he was pretty good when he came on. Uh, I cannot say the same for Ainsley Maitland-Niles, though, who I actually thought was our worst player. I really did. He was our worst player. Came off of Kashani, um and then moved Lich side the centre, and <sighs> he was poor, man. Three out of ten. My man somehow plays better as a left back, even though he's a right footer, than he, than he plays as a right back. I'm desperate for this kid to play in the centre. I'm desperate for him. Um, but I fear that he may be driven out of the club in a serious fashion to Oxlade Chamberlain for the simple reason that the manager clearly doesn't rate him as a central midfielder for whatever reason. Anyway, and as for Emre, to me, I thought he made his substitutions were poor. I actually liked his starting lineup, so I can't really criticize that too tough. But I thought his substitutions were poor. The way the, the, the team performed, you have to hold him at least somewhat accountable for that. Um, worst game yet as an Arsenal manager, in my opinion. Um, and for that reason, I have to give him a 5 out of 10. Anyway, you people let me know what you think. Leave your comments in, in the comments in the description below. If you like this video, crush, destroy, drop kick the shit out of that like button. I appreciate it when you guys do that. Take care. Deuces.